This mother is so cool. Jutsu Kaisen knows how to make characters cool. He keep doing it over and over. Keep in mind, I don't watch a lot of anime, but the ones that I have watched are My Hero, Dragon Ball, Naruto, and Demon Slayer. They usually have characters that make me wanna. But this show is different, and that is because the lit characters have a badass moment. They make you say, he's cool. And use that character to make another scene that much better. They have made the coolest character in anime, Gojo. Uh, for instance, let's start with Jogo. Rating from his appearance, they did him dirty. He's 5'4", he doesn't look tough. He's got that Spongebob build, he's a volcano in human form. They gave him a hunchback, whatever. The outside might not be too cool, but when you get to know the guy. The only time we've seen him fight before his altercation with Saikuna, it was the other strongest character, Gojo. And Gojo called him fun and used him as a tutorial, teaching Yuji about domains and she. Then you see him and his team jump Gojo again and he's just one of the four. So my perception was that Yuji could beat him on a good day. But then you get that badass moment. He walks slowly to the middle of the frame. Does he have heels for his height? Could not stop noticing And quickly gets the 1v3. Says his cool lines. Cool demeanor. And like Shaq. I apologize I wasn't familiar with your game. Joe Goat. He gets his badass moment and you see him different as the people he beat are pretty strong. They then use Jogo to build Saikuna. Of course, we got a Jiji's appearance. He's using Yuji's player build, but his whole demeanor changes. He gets that BDE, that big dinosaur energy, of course. He gets face tats, so he looks pretty scary. Things he the Joker laughing like that. I would give him a 9 out of 10. He starts walking slowly and everyone is terrified. You feel every step. We've seen what Joe could do. And look at him now. He is on his knees. They really went all out to make this guy terrifying. The way they reacted to his presence. They were breathing hot and heavy. I was scared for them. And then Saikuna. Plays Fruit Ninja with their bodies. He does have a very chill demeanor though. When talking. Kind of like he knows he could just slice someone into cubes. He gives Jogo an offer. If he hits him one time, he works for them. I get why Jogo accepted, cause it's like I'm sure I could I could hit him one one time. And also, if he said no, he'd probably get killed anyway. They then show his strength. First, they tell you with dialogue. Jogo's line. The first scene of the episode, Jogo is just in love with Sakuna. The whole format of the show changes. Sakuna is so cool. He literally changes the TV show into a movie. Fight stars. He's dodging every hit. Sometimes I'm like, how didn't he get a little ember on him? The animation went crazy, sends him through buildings, cuts his arms, he gives Jogo a tour of a building, shoving his face through every floor. He do give a lot of respect to Volcano Man for taking that type of abuse and bullying. He really put up a fight though. Not really, but he gave it all he had, pulling every trick in the book, fire missiles, fire hands, fire bees, fire head. He almost gave up and Sakuna had his legs dangling, telling him not to give up on some David Goggins. Jogo decides to use Tornado Fireball. Sakuna makes these guys wait until he claps. They're basically playing Simon Says the Sakuna version. He ends up making a fire arrow and Jogo makes a small ember. It's funny, it immediately just cuts to Jogo in the afterlife. Sakuna somehow burns a volcano. That's like drowning a fish or a bird. It runs everywhere. Basically impossible. And he goes in the afterlife and gives him a compliment and makes him cry just to show how strong he is. Felt bad that Jogo died. I wanted to see him win something at least. Fast forward, he fights this giant monster that no one has tamed. They have a giant fight where the city takes the biggest beating. They have a giant battle that affected thousands of people. And of course, I'm talking about the animators. This whole episode looked like a movie. The shots were insane rainbow colors. This fight contained a lot of badass moments for the finger demon. He had cool shots of him doing moves, they put him on every screen, showing how powerful his cut powers were. His domain. His final move, that is the fire arrow. Next, last but definitely not least, second actually. If you know, you know. Gojo has been the biggest character created since Naruto, Goku, Luffy. Everyone loves this man. Kakashi's long lost son, the hair, the colored eyes. Both seem white, both are teachers to students, to students who have demons inside them. He's so strong the villains don't even consider whether they will beat him but how long they will last. That's like me, I always think about how long I'm gonna last. Starting with his appearance, a lot of people find him attractive with how hard they like him. Go just for sure a ton. There's a ton of videos talking about why he's so great, you know, looks, appearances, overpoweredness, the blues, etc. 10 out of 10. Okay, the last person I'm talking about is the main character Yuji. He's been getting flagged by everybody that he isn't doing his job good. But I think that's what makes the show great is that they focus on everyone, not just on one person. But he has finally silenced those rumors this season. To me. 
because for the longest time he was a meh character he was all right best thing about him was the demon inside of him we'll talk more later about how he redeemed himself mostly this scene Yuji's arc is unique in the way that he's told he's gonna die by the end of it and I wonder if that's gonna happen if he dies at the end of the show. He's got that whole Naruto with the demon inside him story. The difference between the demon and the fox is that this demon is really mean. I don't think they're becoming friends at the end like how Naruto and the Naito fox did. I like that for a change. The season has really shown that Yuji is the main character though. All the bad things he has gone through mostly seen his friends getting killed in the whole murder show led him to his purpose. I've never seen a character suffer the way he has, the screaming, crying, kicking, depression. It gave him a cold ass line, not just because of the scene, but for the sake of this video. It was cool. That was great. You know what else makes him great? His fighting style. Yuji has hands for days, he has all the combos in the world. His style is just more flashy and it's combat, it's not powers like the other characters. And that's what makes him even better to watch. Abara, she is the girl in the trio group that all these anime groups have. She has a different type of personality, kinda. She does have that whole thing of getting angry and hitting someone energy, that Sakura energy. But I found her to be actually enjoyable. Her demeanor and the way she carries herself. She has the cynical look that drifts her apart from other female characters. Her best scene is when she and Yuji fight with the period blood brothers. She hurts herself in order to hurt him and the look she has on her face while doing it. Badass, she never gets annoying and this season she got... But overall a very great character and she isn't the only great female character as there is Maki. But I just like Nabarro better. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Name を変えても、姿を変えても、何度でも殺す。